I hope you had fun with that exercise. I'm going to continue with the rest of the previous lesson and show you how I resize the social media graphics myself. Now let's go back to our social media screenshots over here and we'll just resize all of these. I double click these, can resize them. You can put them in different parts on the screen. If I want to make this disappear so I can see the layer beneath it, I'll just turn off the toggle on and off button. So let's just double click this top one, make sure we're double clicking the top one. If you don't get the top one, because this one is, then select the next one and let's just resize a little bit down. Move it to the side, to the right. With this next one, we'll just turn that top one off. We'll take our next one and move to the left a little bit. Decrease the size, something like that. Turn off that layer. And then with this last one, we'll just start a little bit smaller. We're gonna be adding some animation to it later. But if we just line them up one after the other, we can do that. So we'll have That's what I did. First day I got one pop up. Views. And, then and oh, let's turn these on. One, two, three. I got 100,000 views. The next one pops up. The next one pops up. And then the next one pops up. Something like so. So that's what I did. First day I got 100,000 views. And then the next day I got a million. We're getting all this love and encouragement. So we're seeing all these things pop up at the same time. And then they'll all disappear right there at the end. We'll learn how to add some transitions in the next couple lessons. But this is the motion tab. This is how you move things around. And hopefully that gives you some ideas for um, moving around your clips. Even for your video clips, say this was shot at a higher resolution. I'm not going to do this for this video, but you can use this to punch in on your interviewer or on a clip, especially if you're shooting at a very high resolution. All right, those are just a few ideas. We'll see you in the next lesson.